what's going on guys, it's Zach, complete with hand gestures. Hope you all are doing well. So I just got in the mail this. This is the HTC U Ultra. I actually got this on Amazon. Uh, nobody really sent this to me or anything like that. I bought it myself, uh, but I'm especially excited for this one because this is the first HTC device that I've actually owned in years. All right, so let's go ahead and put this down and let's pull out the unboxing knife, the sword or dagger, whichever one you guys wanna call it. This was like 10 bucks on Amazon. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll link it down below in the description, but there you go. Let's go ahead and cut the tape here. And let's rip this off instead. There we go. There we go. All right, so I actually got this from Amazon, like I said before, and I got this from the NGP store in the USA. Um, they're really taking care of their customers with this, so uh, thumbs up for that. So let's go ahead and grab the unboxing knife one more time. You guys know I like doing this, so let's go ahead and cut the, the wrapping here. All right, so let's go ahead and take the top lid right off, see if we can actually pull this off. And there we go, and there is the HTC U Ultra. All right, so let's pull it out of the box here, and I did get it in this white color. If you guys already know, the HTC U Ultra has a very shiny, glossy back, and it comes in some darker colors as well. You guys can put two and two together. That means fingerprints. So I went with this one to kind of decrease the amount of fingerprints that you'll actually be able to see. All right, so since it's an unboxing video, of course you gotta put the product off to the side and check out what else you get in the box here. Uh, we actually get, I'm guessing this is our SIM ejection tool there. We do have a case, so it's nice that they included one probably to uh, decrease your fingerprints and uh, to prevent from scratches and all that good stuff. So it's a basic plastic case. It is nice and uh, it's pretty it's pretty good it's all right it's not that bad it's not flimsy or flexible it is a hard shell case so we have that there all right so we also have a microfiber cleaning cloth here you can really tell htc wants you to take care of this device because as you know this has got a glossy back and htc knows that people will probably need one so they went ahead and tossed one in the box for you so that's cool and we have our usual manuals and warranty information and all that good stuff so there you go and that's pretty much it and uh, no headphones. Oh, you know what? No headphones. Oh, there we go. Headphones. Nice. And uh, wow. Okay, so we'll take a look at that in a sec. We have our wall adapter right here. It says HTC right there. And then we have our USB adapter. This is, of course, USB Type C. Pretty much everything in 2017 is going to have USB Type C, including the headphones. So here are the earbuds. And um, I don't really want to take them out because I might sell this phone after I'm done reviewing it. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean, they look pretty good. Uh, you know, just for you guys, I'll, I'll, I'll pop this one out here. All right, so that's what the earbuds look like, and they are USB Type-C, so there you go. I'm starting to think, huh, there probably is no headphone jack on this phone. All right, so let's go ahead and take the phone out of its plastic wrapping, and there we go. That is the HTC U Ultra. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look around the phone there. We do have the 5.7 inch Quad HD Super LCD 5 display there. Um, and it does have that secondary display there at the top. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Uh, but one thing I did notice is the camera bump. As you can probably see there, I uh, might not be able to see it on camera as well as in person, but it does have quite the camera bump there. The, the camera does protrude out quite a bit and uh, it kind of reminds me of the Galaxy S6. If you guys remember that camera hump was huge, but uh, not too big of a fan of that. Not too sure why that's like that, but um, eh, it is what it is. Then on the bottom front of the phone, we do have our home button slash fingerprint reader. It's like the OnePlus 3 and 3T where it's not an actual physical button, but it is just a home button, capacitive button and a fingerprint reader. And then on either side, you'll have capacitive buttons that will light up back in recent applications. So let's go ahead and power on the device. It's looking really nice so far. It is more of a, a basic design. They're kind of playing it safe, but uh, that glossy back, while it looks really, really nice, it is just so glossy and yes, fingerprints everywhere. So here we go and look at that. Yeah, you guys already know. I don't, I don't know what had to, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. So let's go ahead and see. And yep, English, choose language. Yes, we need that, please. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go ahead and get through the setup here. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our fingerprint here using the front fingerprint reader, of course. And uh, let's go ahead and do a pattern. Uh, let's go ahead and do a U, you know, just because this is the HTC U Ultra. And speaking of U Ultra, what do you guys think of the name U Ultra? It's, it's pretty interesting, kind of sounds like something Sony would do. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the name U Ultra. So let's go ahead and do this here. And uh, all right, hold your finger. All right, there you go. All right, so this setup is a little, eh, it's taking a little longer than I'm used to, especially with phones like the OnePlus 3T and a bunch of other phones out there, but uh, let's go ahead and just stick with that for now. And let's go ahead and just change the name to Easy Tech. 
there we go and let's go ahead and uh, get to the phone and uh, we have some wow we, we can actually choose to install some applications i'm gonna go ahead and skip these because i just want to go ahead and get to the setup all right so here we go here we have the home screen and uh, there we go front and center so to speak we have the dual display right there is what they're calling it the secondary display up top and uh, yeah i kind of feel right at home here because i use this with the lg v20 um, but let's go ahead and see what exactly we can do here as the phone is installing some updates probably um, tap to learn more uh, this is pretty much just going to be what you would expect you can get shortcuts and reminders and you know all that good stuff but uh, yeah stay more focused we, we pretty much know what's going to be here we have you know calendar events if we swipe probably yeah, if we swipe and get you can get to uh, contact shortcuts there and get to your music player pretty normal stuff here the weather that looks pretty nice actually and uh, let's see what else you can get shortcuts to applications you can choose which ones you want you can create your own reminder which is i mean that's pretty basic stuff there so nothing that we haven't really seen before i don't know i really have to use the phone to make my final verdict on this secondary display but right now i can just tell you it's it's pretty basic stuff um nothing really crazy i don't know what do you guys think about that let's go ahead and check out the uh, capacitive buttons there there you go you can see them there recent applications um, and of course, like we, like I said before, we are running Android 7.0, so we can actually get our uh, dual dis or dual display. <laughs> we can get our multitasking going on here, so it does work really well on Android 7.0. Now, before I close out the video, I'm just going to go ahead and run through some of these specifications. I suppose I should have done this towards the beginning of the video, but we already went through the display. But the secondary display is a two-inch display with a resolution of 1040 by 160. The U Ultra is rocking the Snapdragon 821 as opposed to the 835. We're also looking at the Adreno 530 GPU, four gigabytes of RAM, and it also has a 3000 milliamp hour battery. So there you go, this is the HTC U Ultra. Let me know what you guys think of this phone in the comments down below. I would love to hear your feedback, but uh, you know, I'm having I'm having mixed feelings with this phone so far. Part of me really, really likes it. Part of me is just like meh. But rotating the phone like this actually reminded me to check out the camera before I close out the video. So let's go ahead and grab our little Android dude over here. And let's go ahead and see what the camera is like. And wow. Wow, you might not be able to tell on video, but uh, in person, this is looking really, really nice. This is actually not a very well lit area. I have two lamps over here. As you can probably tell, one's blue, the other one is green, and then I have a window over there to the left. I'm not using my usual studio lights, but this is looking really, really nice. Wow. So it's looking good in a fairly low light right now. Again, this is not a very well lit area. Is it gesture based? No, it's not. So tapping up here, we get to our different shooting modes, HDR, HDR auto. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm really excited to test this camera out. As you can see, it tells you how much space you have left or how many shots and how long of recording you can actually take. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out the selfie camera here. I'm not looking too good today, but uh, yeah, no neck person. But uh, yeah, the selfie camera looks pretty good and the switching is pretty quick as well. Looks good right now. Again, not very well lit. But uh, man, I'm, I'm telling you, this camera looks really good so far. Uh, so I'm really impressed with this phone so far. Uh, I'll actually bring that down a little bit and I'll say, I'm pretty impressed with this phone so far. Again, I have to see how performance goes, battery life. The camera is probably what really brought it up a little bit. The camera looks really good. The screen here is actually really nice. Usually HTC does a good job with their screens. Software is nice, very stock Android-like. The fact that it has expandable storage is also really nice. So, uh, so far so good with the HTC U Ultra. Again, let me know what you guys think of this phone so far down below in the comments and uh yeah we'll talk about it there so thank you guys for watching this video if you did enjoy it make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but that does it for me i'll talk to you guys in the next one and thanks for watching Easy.